Hi guys, this time I am reviewing Edgar Allan Poe's Tales of Mystery and Madness as illustrated by Chris Grimley. This book is really cool because it is four Edgar Allan Poe short stories, which are The Black Cat, The Mask of the Red Death, Hopgood, and The Fall of the House of Usher. And they have Chris Grimley's unique, fantastic illustrations that are kind of morbid and dark, but also kind of funny and fun. So it's a fantastically magical and slightly creepy combination. Perfect Halloween read. Black Cat is about this one guy who is really into animals and like loves them and is really awesome until he starts drinking and as an alcoholic is not fun and starts mistreating this cat and the cat ends up getting its revenge. Um, Hopgood is about a dwarf, Hopgood, and his friend Trippetta, who is also a dwarf, and they work in the court of this one king, and he's a jester. The king is like a loves a laugh, but maybe isn't the best to these two that have been um, captured and forcibly brought against their will to this court. And one night he makes Hopka drink, even though that's not a good idea because he gets crazy when he drinks. Um, so Hopka gets his revenge. Um, the Mask of the Red Death is about this plague that sweeps over the land called the Red Death. And this one prince decides he is not going to catch the plague by locking himself in this abbey with a bunch of friends. And they just, you know, cut themselves off from the rest of the world and they're throwing parties. And this goes on for several months. And one night they have this masquerade ball. But this one guest shows up and is dressed like a plague victim. And the prince decides that's not okay and goes after him. And The Fall of the House of Usher is probably the most famous one in this book. The Fall of the House of Usher is kind of the story about just like this mad family. So the stories themselves are great on their own, but these illustrations that Chris Grimley adds is really what makes this book. So the illustrations Chris Grimley gives, they're just, they're kind of dark and just this right twist of creepiness that complements the story so well and the things that he chose to bring out and illustrate are so much fun and the quirky like comedic side he brings to it. These are brilliant paintings. Like I love this art, this art is what makes this book as really the best part of this book is this art it is so colorful i mean it's not really colorful it's dark art but like the way he uses it is brilliant this is a great introduction to Edgar Allan Poe if you haven't read it before and the illustrations help bring out what's happening the pictures are great if you get caught up in the language that Poe uses and that's confusing like this is a great way to get around that but i just i really think they are perfect together they are the best combination so definitely recommend checking that out so yeah i love you guys peace out and keep reading bye